And especially when we made a change like introducing Chromebooks, we saw that our, our apps, Google Apps usage tripled in the space of three months. And we were already a very strong user of Google Apps. You know, every staff member had a Google site. There was a lot of resources on Google Apps. And it tripled both in docs created and in the, uh, the traffic through our, our websites tripled within three months. So that's a staggering figure to us. It was staggering to Google and everyone else. But it just goes to show if you've got the right tools and the right access, that can then inform the usage. And, th and that was our goal, you know, to look at the usage uh, because obviously it's very difficult to measure teaching and learning, but we're going to hope that the more they use it, the more likely they are to, um, to have some kind of educational outcome inside that usage. So yeah. what I might right. do is... So what about if I just stop you there for a sec? What, it yeah. might be a very elementary question for some people, but uh, how, how is it that you measure Docs Created, for instance? Docs Created, I'll show you. Uh, what I've got here is the Google control panel, the admin panel. And uh, can you see that okay, Mike? Yeah, it's come through fine. Beautiful. So we've got the docs panel here. You'll see all the apps. Sometimes it'll be hidden down here, but there is this little reports button. Um, sometimes it's in this more controls area. But if I just open up reports, uh, we can have a look here at how our domain is, is going, basically a snapshot of our domain. So I see here, this is usage activity. So this is stuff that I'm kind of interested in, you know, how, how often are people logging into these services? And we can see here that Gmail and Drive, you know, sit alongside each other. Um, sometimes there's outliers like that where I think there's issues with Google's reporting API. But, um, but yeah, you'll see that, you know, pretty much every day we sit at, you know, 2,000 people logging into to Gmail and 2,000 people using Google Drive. So, I mean, that's pretty, pretty good figures. Over here on the right, we have sort of our total users. There's 4,000 total users in our domain. That's because we don't delete previous years so as kids leave we leave their accounts here in case they want to come back and grab something I mean it's all free so so why not yeah, it's uh, a good strategy. yeah absolutely uh, we've actually had a few kids recently come back um, for a uni project or something they needed to reference something and um, that was very handy that we had that so on the left here there are um, aggregate reports and app, you know you sort of drill down into into other details how many people are you know how much storage you're using you can see we've archived a lot of stuff at the start of that uh, the start of this year and then it's crawling back up again so you know looking at that there's uh what is that two million megabytes <laughs> i'll let you, let you do the calculations <laughs> on that that's insane there's a lot of data um and how many people are on two-step enrollment you know we have pretty much uh what 158 not not that many so that's sort of a more of a security thing so that helps us um, on the compliance side of things, but if we're going to look at um, actual activity, <clears throat> we want to we can drop into the account activity and see um, student activity and how much they've used and all that sort of stuff. I'm not going to do that, but we can click into the students and have a look at that stuff.